Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I apologize for being on a little bit of a hiatus. School has really picked up and I've been studying nonstop. But I finally have a little bit of a break, which means like no tests for like a week. So I am taking this opportunity to make a video. I wanted to make this short and sweet. I've been using some extra books besides my textbooks to help me study and I feel like they're really good tools and I wanted to share that with you guys. So here are my top three books that I use in anesthesia school to help me study. disclaimer I do not get paid to promote these books I do not get any incentives for mentioning these books this is just my true opinion on the anesthesia material that I really like so starting with the first book it's called anesthesia made easy by Jeff Steiner it's a very small book almost 200 pages I really like this book because it's to the point basically like the title made easy it gives you everything laid out in like a note-taking form with bullet points. It's not like reading uh, thousands of pages of paragraphs like a textbook. So that's what I love about it. This is a book I would definitely slip into my clinical bag for a quick reference. It's mainly clinical related. There's not much theory involved in this. It focuses around anesthesia training, airway management, machine setup, and what to expect when rotating through like peds and adult. It's really, really good for a quick reference. So if you're looking for something like this before you start clinicals, I would highly suggest it. I haven't even started clinicals yet and I have dived into this book because it does go into pharmacology a bit, uh, not extensively, but it has cute little charts. You know how I am about my charts. It's got charts of the main medications that you'll be using. So it's always good to reference this quickly for anything clinical related. Book number two is a CRNA mnemonics book. So it's CRNA student study pack. I went full blown and bought the three in one because this author, Chris Mulder, he's a CRNA. He has two mnemonic books, the CRNA mnemonics and then more CRNA mnemonics and then survive CRNA school. There was an option to buy just one or all of them, so I just splurged and bought all of them. So it's a three in one. I use this book for every exam, I kid you not. In anesthesia school, we learn a lot of material at a very fast pace. So things tend to get confusing and jumbled up in my mind. So a mnemonic is a great way to separate and remember certain things about certain topics. This book is amazing every time I am preparing for an exam. So say I'm learning about a dif difficult airways for my exam. I go to the difficult airway section of the book and they'll have mnemonics on difficult bag mass ventilation or mnemonics on mal and patty scoring, mnemonics on difficult nasotracheal intubation, all that stuff. The first book was really good for clinical and this book is really good for your didactic portion of your anesthesia program. So definitely buy this when you're starting your courses or before you start school. Really not expensive. I'm thinking it was around 20 bucks for the whole pack. Definitely worth it. Okay, so now the last book I'm going to show you guys is a combination of didactic and clinical. If you can buy one book, I would maybe suggest just getting this one. And this would be Duke's Anesthesia Secrets. Really good book. Um, this book basically helps you with anything clinical related, anything theory related. It also provides you with a bunch of questions that you could be asked in clinical along with really good answers. So I would suggest getting this book right before clinical or even before you start school as well because I'm learning the stuff in this book right now and I haven't started clinical yet. This book goes into a lot more depth than that first book, Anesthesia Made Easy, but of course that was more basic. This book goes more into the depth that we're required slash expected to know. For anyone like me who hasn't started clinicals yet, this book is still good for the pharmacology, the anatomy, physiology, and then for the questions that they can ask you in clinical, it's always amazing to use before you start clinical to be well prepared for that. Those are my three books that I am totally loving. I will leave the links in the description below in case you guys want to pick any of these up on Amazon. If you have any questions about a book or 
you want to know which one is most appropriate for you and your current situation, feel free to leave me a comment. I will be more than happy to help anyone out. And that is really it for this video. I kept it short and sweet and to the point. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps my channel. And subscribe because I promise you will not be disappointed. All right, guys, I'll see you later.